Okay, so physics students, the direction of the magnetic field around a wire. I have some graphics that are in the videos I've made already, and there are some graphics in your textbook as well, and I, I encourage you to look at all of those. But I'm going to try today to actually show you a little bit of a 3D view. Anytime you're looking at something not a flat screen or a flat sheet of paper, which is inherently 3D, it's going to be a little bit tricky. So, you have my wonderful arts and crafts project here, where this is the direction of your, of your current. And I have to uh, apologize, I'm trying to work in the video here, which has got things reversed for me. Well, the magnetic field is going to go around that wire. So, if I look at this from the side, I recognize that my wire is here, that the magnetic field actually wraps all the way around it. And our right hand rule for these wires tells us the direction that it will curl. So if I'm using my right hand and I put my thumb in the direction of current, the direction that my fingers curl is the direction the magnetic field curls. So it comes out here, goes across, then it goes in here. So if I bring this up closer, you can see it goes in. If, if I were to look at the other side of the paper then, it's going to come out there and continue to wrap around, forming a, a circle all the way around that wire. So for the one that you guys had on Friday, where the current was going up towards the top of the paper, what we see is the magnetic field comes out on this side, which for you guys, that would be the left side of the wire and then goes across towards the right in front of it, and then it comes back in over here on the right side. So as you look at the wire, it comes out on one side, wraps around, and goes in on the other side. Now some of you were saying that it was going up and down, and that may be because you were thinking about it in terms of the paper being flat in front of you. And then it went down on the one side and up on the other side. But when we're working on these things, we want to keep up and down to be the top of the paper and the bottom of the paper. And therefore, the magnetic field was going to wrap around coming out of the paper and going back into the paper. So that's my attempt here at a 3D view for the problem for Friday that a lot of you were having problems with. I'm going to try and do a few more of these uh, videos just to help you understand the directions a little better.